everybody, this is Dan for Gamby Down Cars Now. This is a pretty special day. I just did my walk around of this. This is a 2021 Ford Bronco uh, Wild Track with the Sasquatch package and the big 35 inch wheels. Just did my walk around, but now in this video, we're gonna take it out for a drive. So here we go. I can't tell you how excited I am. Ooh, that's a little bit bigger than what I'm used to. There's a the nice graphic on the screen. So let's start her up. Here we go. Now this is the first <laughs> SUV I've driven in a long time. Well, I've never driven an SUV that you could put the top down, but we're gonna drive around uh, Dillsburg and I'm not really exactly sure where we're going, but we're gonna figure that out. This car is, this SUV is just so different than what I'm used to. Now this car has the, I keep saying car, but it's an SUV, we know that. This has the 2.7 liter twin turbo V6, 330 horsepower, 400 foot pounds of torque. Now I just, my car, my SUV will be a little bit different from this one. I'm not getting the Sasquatch and I am not getting uh, the Wild Track with the big tires and I'm not getting the six cylinder either. Uh, but just to see how this car drives, uh, right away it feels very solid, very big, and I love the trail sights that are on the hood. Um, they look absolutely fantastic. I'm pinching myself, I'm driving a new Bronco. This is just crazy. I feel like the diameter of the steering wheel is perfect for how big this interior is. Um, and I hope you can hear me with all the wind. Um, yeah, this is, I'm driving a Bronco. I also want to see like just how much attention that I get because this is like the hottest SUV on the planet right now. Now we're just going to go up 15 a little bit. Now I borrowed this car from Bob Ruth Ford in Dillsburg, PA. Let's just give her the beans a little bit. Power's decent. Power's decent. I still have no idea when my Bronco is coming, which is fine because I'm not gonna bitch about it like everybody else on Facebook. Um, yeah, this just feels so solid and good. Just from driving for 30 seconds already. Now, gotta give a big shout out to Bob Ruth Ford for giving me access to this Bronco. So far, I'm loving it. I love that this car has the 12 inch 12 inch screen because that's what I'm getting. It's just absolutely massive. I love the gauges. Uh, when we do a POV drive, I'll show all that. The steering wheel is very nice. Everything just feels solidly built and it should. Again, I have no idea where I'm going because I'm not that familiar with Dillsburg. We're just gonna drive around a little bit just to get an impression of how this thing feels. But yeah, first impressions, I love the trail sights you can see off the hood. Um, I love the soft top. Now I'm not getting a soft top. I'm getting the MIC top, the mar uh, molded in color with the carbonized gray. Um, just because I drive in the highway and I didn't really care for the soft top. But this just feels so good. I mean, you know that you have the monster 35 inch tires, but they don't feel, it feels like I have big tires, but these tires are huge. I don't feel like they're just big monster muck tires, carbon up the suspension. It feels very solid. I'm gonna keep saying solid because this thing is a big solid son of a bitch. A little bit of suspension travel right there. Now this car is obviously a direct competitor to the Jeep Wrangler. And there's lots of noises going around. I hope you can hear me. Um, but this has the design and the performance and the off-road chops that will absolutely compete with the Wrangler. Now when I get mine, I, I would I want to take it off-roading, but nothing like too absolutely crazy. Um, here, let's just let's just give it the beans real quick. That's quick. The power is definitely there. I mean, all the torque. I got 400 foot pounds of torque. Oh my gosh! I, I just I can't believe that I'm getting one of these. I'm having a, a geek out moment. Now I didn't I didn't. 
talk about it in the other video, but one of the con more controversial things about this Bronco was that it has the independent front suspension, which is not ideal for off-roading, but it makes for a better ride on the highway, which is what I was concerned about. Um, the Jeep Wranglers have a solid axle, um, and the Bronco's gonna have an independent front suspension, but I was totally okay with that. That was not a deal breaker for me. I actually was feeling pretty good about it. Yeah, the driving experience so far is, is amazing. I mean, I know I have uh, the coolest SUV around, but I, I can't find anything at fault. I mean, I got this the beautiful day here with the sunshine. The mirrors have nice visibility. I don't, the soft top is getting in the way of the mirror just a little bit. But this is just awesome. Now we're gonna do a little bit of a POV drive to get just, just to get an idea of how it feels, but let me turn around real quick. And I wanna show you the trail sights. I mean, you could see the big angular hood, but you could see the trail sights right there. It just, you could perfectly place this thing if you're off-roading. Plus those are there to like get the tree limbs and bushes out of your way. Now this is the giant 12 inch screen that comes with the mid package. And I don't know if this has the mid package or the Lux package. But there's your speedometer right there. So let's go for a drive. Now this car is obviously finished in the cyber orange metallic, which looks really good with the black finished wheels. All right, here we go. Yeah, that is really decent power. I mean, I know there's two two schools of thought with this SUV. If you're gonna drive it on the highway and do a little bit of off-roading like me, uh, the smaller engine is just okay, but that power and torque was very, very nice. Yeah, this is just super comfortable as well. I have the leather seats, uh, very comfortable. And that is, that is something that is really interesting to me because I drive so much, I want a comfortable SUV. So this is checking all the boxes so far. I mean, just look. <laughs> just look at this. Uh, I'm still geeking out. I just am pinching myself that I have the access to this uh, SUV. Now I think I'm, I'm obviously biased because I'm buying one of these, but this is this more than meets the bill. This is an absolute home run for Ford. Um, I said in the other video, if you're like a Jeep owner, I, I think you're shaking in your boots a little bit. Not that there's anything wrong with the Jeep, that's a fine SUV, but this is just, this has it all. I don't think I'm lacking anything. I mean, you've got the big screen. Now, the must-haves for me, and what, what really won this car over for me was that I really enjoyed the LEDs front and back, and the big screen, and the ability to take the doors off and the roof off. Now, mine will have the hard top, which has three different three different spots where you can take it off. But that is just what I wanted and it just, it's amazing. See, this road is terrible, but it is soaking up the bumps like beautifully. It definitely doesn't have that death wobble that the Jeeps had. All right, I was just at an intersection. I got a lot of looks there from some Chevy guys. Here, let's go, here we go. more than enough power. All right, I'll try to keep this quick because it's so loud in here, but this car SUV is absolutely amazing. It ticks all the boxes. It has the performance. I think this is gonna be an absolute home run for Ford. So make sure you go check out Bob Ruth Ford here in Dillsburg, PA. Um, I, I'm so excited to own one of these, hopefully later this year. Um, Ford, I think you can hit a home run. So don't forget to follow them. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Gammy Dion Cars. And I'll see you on the next one. See ya.